Hey YouTube, we'll go back to another episode of the Lincoln Williams Show. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a uh, one of my games that I've been trying to work on for over a year now, and I still haven't beaten it. In it I still haven't beaten it yet because I haven't completed two of the sequences that I needed to complete to be able to finish the game. But I said, you know what? It's time to review it. I've been waiting for this review for a while, and I'm going to be reviewing today one of the best pirate game, not only one of the best pirate games of all time, but one of the most, you know, best Assassin's Creed games of all time, and that is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag takes place in the Caribbean um, see where it takes place uh, in the the known area which is Havana, Nassau, and Kingston in the in those general areas of the Seven Seas. Um, Assassin's Creed 4 ta uh, also takes place in the Pirate Lands which you take a hold of um, which you capture from the Redcoats and the Spanish Navy, which is actually really interesting because, you know, fighting alongside with the assassins and pirates, that is just one of the most exciting things in an Assassin's Creed game. And it's one of the most rewarding systems in a pirate game and in an Assassin's Creed game. It's not only one of the best pirate games that I've ever played in my entire life, but it's also one of the best Assassin's Creed games that I've ever played. And it's the most lengthy Assassin's Creed games that I've ever played because of its you know, campaign and the collectibles around the Seventh Seas. You get to explore on your pirate ship. You get to sail all around these islands and explore. And that's one of the most unique things about this game is it lets you explore islands that are like, you know, some are massive, some are small, and overall, it, the, my entire experience with this game has been great to the franchise. And overall, it's, over, it's been a good experience so far. Now... A well-known pirate known as Edward Kenway, you play, you play as him through the campaign, and uh, you meet an, an an assassin along the way, um, and uh, he's trying to deliver a package uh, or a note uh, to S Senor Duncan, uh, aware t a well-worthy Templar who is just is going to destroy the Seven Seas with his evil Templar scheme. And I don't know what his scheme is because I haven't played through the sequences yet, but all I know is I think all of the pirates that you're trained to kill, I think they're after this skull of ancient power. It's like the Apple of Eden, only you could see events that are occurring right now. So it's one of the most unique artifacts that you get to see in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now basically, um, you know, one of the most amazing things about this game is it's, it's well-written characters. And I don't mean Edward Kenway, because Edward Kenway is spot on, but Blackbeard? Blackbeard is in this one as well, and you know he's just an, an amazing actor for Blackbeard. Uh, uh, this one guy that did Blackbeard, and you get to sail around the seas with them. You get to fight alongside them, and you know it's uh, overall it's great. And uh, there are some sad moments when a pir world worthy pirate dies in your arms and you're like 
rest in rest in peace in peace Kampache or something like that. I don't know what Ezio's main line was, but that's what he used to say to dead people. Yeah. And Edward Kenway doesn't have a strong appearance as Ezio, but he's a really good assassin. No doubt about it. Edward Kenway is like Connor Kenway in some ways, but he uses two swords that, um, to like fight alongside with the with the other fellow uh, pirates. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a very unique uh, game in a way. Um, and the cities are large. I'll tell I'll give you that the cities are large. They're is plenty of content to be had in this game. I mean, I've I've been playing this game for over a year now and I still haven't completed it because one of my employees said that you um collect collecting is required in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You will have to do some collecting because you're going to die a lot like out there in the ocean with a bunch of ships chasing after you and it's so like intense the the ship battles are intense i'll give you that um they're really intense you don't know what's going to happen and if you, a ship just catches you off guard then you're pretty much dead basically um so that's one of the most unique things about Black Flag is it's um, pirate ship combat and like it's naval combat, it's exploration, and the story is actually really decent. Um, Abstergo, Abstergo Industries has a mole, and you're trying to help that mole. I mean, I don't know what you, what you're trying to accomplish with this mole at Abstergo Industries. It's actually really weird because you don't have the Animus anymore. Now the company just like took over Desmond's, you know, thing and turned it into a facility and, you know, all that stuff. So this is actually quite fascinating to Assassin's Creed fans because you don't really, you know, see this in any other games. Uh, once you like step into this one, um, but you will see it in Unity and you will see it in Rogue and those other two games. But overall, um, the Animus is basically just gone. The Animus is all around you in this one facility, basically. So, and you know, the facility with his characters, they're well acted. I'll tell you that they they are well acted, and and they uh, some of the characters from Assassin's Creed Three uh, make it into this one, even though sadly Desmond died. Basically, um, it was a tragic moment for Assassin's Creed fans, but Desmond died in the process, and he didn't really. I did not want him to die. He's Desmond. And he could, and he controlled the animus very well, and he lived up to his ancestors, and overall, you know, he lived a happy life. Well, sometimes you know, a weird life while he was working as a bartender, but anyway, overall, the game is just great. All I can say, it's great. It's awesome. It'll keep you in this interested for a very long while. My brother uh, got interested. He was playing this for like three months or four months at the time. And I could not wait to jump into this bad boy. Once I got in the game from him, we made a trade. So he didn't play Assassin's Creed 3 yet. Well, he haven't really hasn't beaten it. Uh, but he rented it from, like, uh, a video store or something like that. Um, but overall, he didn't beat it, so that's why I lent him uh, the, that copy for Black Flag, um, basically. So, 
Yeah, and my apologies for the shadow uh, glare of my phone because uh, I don't have anything else to use. Um, sorry, I'm just like a shadow, uh, like talking to you guys. It's it's actually a little creepy, but it's actually not because you get to hear my friendly voice. So anyway, um, yeah, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is a well done Assassin's Creed game, no doubt about it. You will have fun with this one, and overall, I'm looking forward to Unity. I know it's not going to be like Black Flag, but it's going to give back some of those Assassin's Creed 1 moments where you just look at the city and admire Paris and, you know, the graphics card on that thing. I mean, overall, it's going to be an amazing experience. And I'll try... Listen, guys, I'm going to try to get a PS4 as soon as possible. I'm trying to work it out with my dad and all that stuff. And that's the main thing that I'm going to be trying to do um, for you guys. Overall, pick this game up. It's a blast. You will have fun with it. The final verdict for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is none other than a 9 out of 10. A must own if you're an Assassin's Creed fan or if you love killing pirates and taking over their ships. And if you love Pirates of the Caribbean, there is no doubt that you should not pick up this title. If you were a fan of that series, uh, and of the movies, then there's no doubt that you should not pick up this title because if you're a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. So, uh, that is it. Uh, I'll try to get, you know, I'll probably try to get gameplay footage of uh, Unity um, probably. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it, like, I don't know, in the next three months, because I'm getting PlayStation Plus, and, uh, with my, um, system. So, uh, I think I'm going to get another game. Um, what was it? Uh, I'll probably get Dead Island. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm thinking, but that game just kind of looks fun, and, mm, I want to get Dying Light as well. That game looks awesome with his parkour mechanics. But when it gets nighttime, you know, it isn't going to go really well if it's nighttime. Just saying. Because those zombies are going to chase after you like a wild, like, like a wild pig. Because they'll do anything to kill you. Like anything. So, anyway... Um, that is the, my review of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. And I'll, and I'll be back someday, someday, YouTubers.